got the diff out and I'm going to weld it. And see that? You can see that. I've been trying to prep it with some anti spatter stuff and some nozzle gel so it doesn't get spatter anywhere. I got some rags in here. That way I don't get anything on the splines. And yeah. Hopefully this goes smoothly and I'll fuck shit up like, you know, I have a tendency of doing. Basically, we're just going to weld four points right there, and then we're going to put a slab of metal on the inside of it, and then weld that, and then do the same on the other side. So, let's get started. solid doesn't just a little spider gears don't move at all now so put the metal plate in there and then weld both sides again and we should be good we'll be done clean the hell out of it make sure there's nothing on this before I put it back in so let's get back to it all right this is what it looks like with the plate in there that is one solid fucking diff I'm completely happy with it I haven't gotten any speckles or shit on the big green gear and from what I can tell there's nothing in there I mean a few little sticks I need to get out but you know it's fucking solid this is professional as fuck alright let's see it was pretty rough actually having it all dry and spinning it so I put some oil in there and then yeah they spin just fine yeah yeah. Nice and smooth. Yep. So, that is welding the diff on this car. Soon, later this weekend, this will be back in the housing yeah, behind the camera. And then that'll be back in the car. We need brakes because we fucked them up pretty badly. And I think this plate is actually a little bent from trying to get this goddamn shaft down. But, yeah. Tune in for more. Thank <laughs> you.